I'm going to keep this quick. So today I saw a video by Junichiro Horikawa, who's like a god in the computational design and YouTube scene. Um, and he made a video about making point gradients. This video is quite some years old. I'll link it below. Um, but then I saw it and I realized I could make his point gradients with far fewer components. Um, so I would like to do that now. Uh, this is just going to be simple point gradients. So what we need to do is just simply define, we're going to be defined it with an x, y, and z coordinate. We'll be just starting out by giving it an x and y. Um, let's do it using some sort of random um, component. We can leave the range to begin with. And what we're going to be doing is applying it here. So right now we're giving it just one. We can well, put this on. So we're just seeing one point there, but let's say we were going to end up wanting to give it 500 uh, points. So now I've given it 500 random points. But we don't want it just to be in the x direction, so let's duplicate this guy. And now we're going to feed it here. We're going to see now we're going to be giving the same point. So each one of these random values is also going to be making a y value, which does not make for a very beautiful gradient. So what we have to go do is actually have to go and graft each one of these. And you'll see, you still see it looks like a line, but that's just a myth. It's actually because we have the exact same seed. And so you can just right click and input and change whatever seed. You can put a slider in here, it doesn't matter. That's just, you just want to make sure that both these components do not have the same. And when we apply to Z, that will uh, also need a new uh, seed value. So now we have is just a standard um, uh, graph or a standard distribution of points, no, no graph. What we need is a graph though. So we're gonna use this graph mapper tool to distribute these um, values unevenly. So right now they are at a perfectly even, but when we manipulate them, so for example, if I bring this into here and then back into here, it's gonna be exactly the same. However, if I start to move this, we're going to start to see some nice gradients. And that's simply manipulating X. What if we want to also manipulate the Y? Copy, bring that in, change it. Now we can start to see the power of these distributions. We can go to whatever corner we want to isolate. We can do even distributions across um, along the edges, but more concentrated in the center on one side. Uh, yeah, so let's now integrate into the Z. So once we bring in this, we know we're going to need to bring in a new um, E value. We want to make sure we right click and graph that. And once we set this seed, that will do very to the exact tune of. All right, uh, a little too big for Grasshopper. Now we can see we have some sort of um, creation that's consolidating. I kind of preferred edge condition, so you could see the bounding box. Let's all just kind of bring these guys up against this corner. You can see now we have this beautiful distribution that's close to the wall and doesn't involve culling points or any of that nonsense in his video. Not that I don't uh, appreciate you and like your work. You need your own. If I'm saying your name right, I also hope I'm doing that. Um, yeah, so that's that's it. Cut the tutorial. Uh, now I'm just going to put in a Voronoi 3D because I think Voronoi 3D is a funny little thing. Actually, I came up with that Voronoi overdose warning. <laughs> because if you don't overuse Voronoi, it's sort of the uh, classic. But we're, what we're doing here is we're not overusing Voronoi. So I'm just going to simply. Um, bake that and now you can see we have it's in its fragmenting much more uh, with a higher concentration where the, all those points are um, and to visualize it let's just uh, sort by the area and let's remove some of the larger areas so we want to get the, the, the cells that are smaller than for example 15 let's see and then we can just call that pattern of cells being the item that we're calling, and this as the pattern that we're going to call. And then let me just hide everything. 
preview off. And let's just bring in a custom um, custom preview from the human. Bring that in. What you can see here is now we have this beautiful concentration of points that expands. And we, and I mean, of course, so I encourage you to play with these. See, see what happens when you use different graph mappers. Um, you can really step your game up and, and understand how to distribute points and how, and how powerful that, that can be. Um, yeah. Take it easy. Have a good one. Peace.